everybody, this is Sal down here at Worth Harley Davidson, and today we are bringing to you the brand new 2024 CDO Streetcar. start out by talking about the styling. So as you can tell, they have completely redesigned the CVOs. It's more of a modern look, but it still has the traditional features of the older motorcycles. The first thing you'll notice right off the bat is gonna be the bat wing fairing. It is more modernized to today's times, but it still keeps the nostalgic look of the older street glide. So it does have the lights that go right down the side, which will project out into the ditches when you're riding at night. But you also have this Omega headlight. It is an LED on that. When it's turned on and you look at it, it has a mean look to it. Something that I really love, especially on the road glides, it's kind of the same way. But these are actually your turn signals as well. So when the bike's on, these are gonna be the white light, just like a headlight. But when you go to turn right or left, these are gonna blink that ambient orange and it just gives it a really cool look, but it also just makes it look just smooth. It all just flows really nice with it. The, the fairing is still a redesigned fairing that they've put in that wind tunnel to get less head buffeting when you're going down the road. So like I've said in previous videos, when I'm riding this bike or previous models, man, my head and, and glasses would just do this all day long, right? With this one, it is, I feel like it's almost completely gone, but they reduced it by about 40 to 60% just depending on how tall you are and stuff like that. I'm 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 with some good boots on. Uh, I don't feel any of it, and if it is, it's just, it's really, really small, but I do love the fairing on this. They've also redesigned the tank, so it's still your traditional teardrop tank, but what they've done, these little lines right here, it's not just for styling. What they did is, it's a thinner sheet metal, so this bike is lighter, which I'll go into details later, but they've actually welded these two pieces together, and it's actually structurally stronger. It's just a good look on there. You also have the Copper head paint that goes with it. The paint job, when it's in the sun, it shifts colors. So it could be a brown, could be a red, you know, Merlot, uh, candy, wine look. It is a pretty, pretty motorcycle. And then from there, we go to the bags. The bags are more of a, they look like a three-dimensional bag that's on there. They don't do the stretch bags anymore. It's actually still a shorter bag. Going to that West Coast styling, right? Going to that racing heritage that Harley's always been known for. That's what Harley's going back to, and I absolutely love it. Uh, but the bags do actually have more capacity uh, in there versus with a stretch bag. Stretch bags look good, don't get me wrong. They look good, but these actually do have more storage. Uh, and you are gonna like that, so. All right, next we're gonna be talking about comfort and convenience on this bike. So we'll start with just the weight reduction alone. On the Street Glide, they have reduced the weight 16 pounds. It's something that you notice as soon as you sit on the motorcycle and you put that kickstand up. When you put it in first gear and you start to take off, you notice the weight reduction immediately. And that's something that I noticed every time that I've got on one and went to ride, how much it just feels lighter. Right, that's a big, big thing. Like I said, they redesigned the triple tree and they redesigned uh, wiring harness that's on there. So you got seven pounds off the front alone. And when I'm talking about seven pounds, I'm talking about a gallon of milk. So just think, every time you hold a gallon of milk, that's seven pounds, that is seven pounds that they have taken off the front of this motorcycle and it is noticeable immediately when you're on there. The other thing is gonna be the aerodynamics. So like I was kind of getting into for uh, on the previous one, the aerodynamics, how they redesigned this fairing to just get rid of A, the head buffeting that you as a rider get and you as uh, your passenger will get as well. So when I'm riding it, I take this vent and I I can, I can put it like right in the middle. That's where I found where my sweet spot is, where I don't get a lot of that head buffeting. Um, and then you also have, if you look over here on the sides, you have your wind deflectors as well. So when that wind hit, it's gonna hit and it's gonna go around where this vent's gonna go up and it's gonna go around you coming up through the vent, right around. So the old bikes, they used to just come up, sit right here and it would sit there and spin. And that's where you get that head buffeting. With this, the new vent system, the redesigned fairing, the slicker windshield, you don't get any of that. Now, if you're a taller person than what I am, you might feel a little bit more of that, but that's why they have this vent that you can adjust and you can do it so you don't feel the wind anymore. Like I said, they reduced it by 40 to 60%. For me, it was almost 100%. Uh, that's what I felt. I, I almost felt zero wind. The old road glides, I would get no buffeting at all on my helmet or my glasses. Street Glide, I got a lot of that. So when I hopped on these and I rode it, 
is immediately it was gone. So I was really impressed by that. We're gonna talk about the cooling system next. So the cooling system, it's a persistent drip cooling around the exhaust valves on the top of the head, right? So you got a little canister here that goes around, it circles around those exhaust ports on the top and it drips the cool in there, right? So a cooler motor equals more horsepower, which equals you being happy and a big smile on your face as soon as you get back from the ride. So that is something that is nice as well. It's also got the radiator fan. It's a temperature controlled. What it does, it just directs that heat away from you. So you don't feel a lot of that heat. It is still an air-cooled motor, right? But you're still gonna feel heat coming from the bike. That radiator fan is just gonna distribute that heat away and out from you, so you don't feel a lot of that, which is really nice. The other part is gonna be the adjustable suspension. So you have one side where you can adjust for preload, and then you got this side, which you can adjust for you and your weight. So the older models, it was just this one side that you would adjust. You look in the owner's manual, hey, I weigh this much. I need to adjust it to eight or 10 or whatever that number is. Now you do it with the spanner rich on this side. So in the manual, hey, if I weigh 270 pounds, you're gonna adjust it to line three or line 12 on here. And then if you have a passenger or luggage that you're carrying, you're gonna look to see what you're gonna adjust your preload pre on this side. The nice thing is you don't have to take your saddlebag off anymore. You just lean down here, and it's right here, and you just adjust it, crank it up to wherever it is convenient and uh, nice for you there. So one of the things that you'll notice right off the bat when you get on this, there's a lot of things you notice right off the bat, but one thing is gonna be the seat. They completely redesigned this seat. So when you sit on it, you got a little bit more of a lumbar support, but you also, it also pushes your hips up to a more neutral position and a more comfortable riding position. So a lot of good things for the convenience and the comfort of this motorcycle. All right, now we're gonna talk about performance, which everybody loves. This CVO Street Glide model, what you get is a 121 motor. The most power that Harley has ever put out in a motor to date. So with that motor, you're gonna get 8% more torque from the previous models. You're also gonna get 9.5% more horsepower. It also has the VVT. So what that is, is basically it allows, it controls your timing throughout the whole uh, RPMs and the power. So how it was kind of explained was, you're hitting that throttle, you're gonna get power through all your gears, no matter what. Where some, hey, I, I have a better uh, horsepower at, you know, 5,800 RPMs or, you know, 3,200 RPMs. Where this girl, you crank it and you shift, you're gonna get power as long as you got your, your hand in the throttle, basically. So that's one thing that I love on this. Some people like it, some people don't, but you know what, I really enjoy it there. So this also has a high performance camshaft. So it just has basically a higher lift uh, for a longer duration, which means you get more power out of it, which who doesn't like more power? I do, I know you do as well. You also have a bigger intake design. So this intake is, <laughs> as you can see, a lot bigger than the previous models. You're just gonna get more air in there which is gonna to lead to more power. That's all this thing produces is power, power, power. So, all right, we're gonna talk about the exhaust. So the exhaust is a completely redesigned Scorch Chrome, which I love the Scorch Chrome look. It is awesome. And it just complements the paint really well, but it is a high performance. It gives you a different sound than all the rest of your bikes that you're gonna hear as far as all your standards, everything but a CBO, obviously. But yeah, you're gonna get a lot, of, lot more power out of that as well. Braking system, they have Brembo brakes on these. And if you're not familiar with Brembo brakes, they are what is on all of the high-end vehicles. So your Lamborghinis, your Ferraris, all the stuff that I can't afford. That's what Brembo brakes have. This is a bike that has the Brembo brakes and they're actually a radial mounted. So what that means is your regular street glides and road glides are uh, axial mounted. So the example I can give you is here's your brake. The axial mounted will crush right here, right? So you get a little bit of stopping power, but on this side, you get nothing. The radial mounted will clamp both sides. So you get a better stopping power. It's going to help you stop a lot quicker but it also is gonna help you stop a lot more safely as well. So that's a big thing, especially with all the power that this bike has, you wanna make sure you got good brakes to stop. The other thing is cast the aluminum, the spoke rims. I like spokes. There's a lot of people that don't like spokes, but I love the spokes. Normally on a spoke rim or the tire, you're gonna have a tube that's in the tire. With these, you don't have to worry about that. If you broke a spoke, you can actually change the spoke right here because on the outside where you can pull that out, adjust it in, put a new one in there. So I love the look of it. I think it's still a classic look that Harley has, which Harley just does a great job in general. The other thing, they have a shift, uh, new shift drum design. So what that means is it's just gonna have, it's gonna be easier to find neutral. 
And if you rode Harleys in the past, you understand finding neutral is very hard. Rolling the bike forward, rolling the back, trying to hit it. This, you don't gotta worry about that. That new redesign on the shift drum, you can find neutral like that, I guarantee it. Front suspension is gonna be a Showa designed front suspension. It's a 47 millimeter front fork. It is actually a inverted front fork, like what you see on all your sport bikes. So what that is gonna do when you're going into the corners, that it's actually gonna push that tire to the ground and hug that ground so you can go right around it. One thing I love about that bike, the suspension, they, they bear no expense. And also on the back, you have the same thing as well, like I was explaining to you. You adjust this side for you, and you adjust this side for the preload. So if you have somebody who's gonna get on and ride with you, or you have luggage or anything like that, you adjust this side. This side is actually gonna be for you, which you have to do with a little spanner rich, but does still have your six-speed transmission. So it's one down, it's five up. Shift in that sixth gear, lower your RPM. You're gonna get really good fuel mileage with it. Something that Harley just always has great transmissions there. One of my favorite features on this motorcycle is the new Skyline OS or operating system. It's a 12.3 inch screen. There's so much that you can do on this. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to learn this. I'm not a rocket scientist and I learned it. <laughs> but. This system is awesome. You can do so many different things, customize it to how you like it. Got the navigation in there, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android CarPlay is no longer. Google and Android has got out of the motorcycle game, so it's all about Apple now. So we got the Apple CarPlay on there. You have three ride modes as well. You have your sport, your rain, and just your regular road mode. So, you know, your rain mode's not gonna have a lot of ass. It's kinda gonna be laggy a little bit, but you don't need to go fast in the rain. Road mode's just gonna be a normal ride. And then you go into sport mode, and that's where you unleash this beast. Sport mode does not want to be under any kind of RPM, but the red line. So be safe if you do get this bike and you are in sport mode, just be safe for me, please. And then all the LED lighting, LED tail lights. You got the Omega headlight on the front with your new turn signals slash lighting to brighten up the road as well. Man, this bike's awesome. You guys got to come down here and check it out. All right, next we're going to talk about safety. The safety features on this motorcycle you have, you're going to have your cornering uh, ABS traction control system that's on there. So how I explain it, or used to be like an RDRS. Uh, how I explain that is if you're going into a corner and you're coming in hot, like we all do, and you realize, oh, we're a little fast right here, and you're leaning into that corner, there's sensors all the way around this motorcycle. And those sensors know, hey, how much tires on the ground, what your speed is, are you braking? And what it does for you, it realizes, okay, and what your lean angle is as well, I forgot about that. So it realizes, all right, the lean angle's not right, the tires, you should be more on, more up on the pavement, and our speed's not. So what they'll do is they'll basically tap a little of the front, tap a little of the back, and this is doing all of this within milliseconds of you even knowing what's going on. So it's actually gonna make you a better rider. For the people out there who think, oh, I can out corner or out ride ABS or any of that, stop it. You come ride one of these, I'm telling you, it, it, they're insane. The safety features, they hardly has thought of it all. And that's one thing that I really do love about what they got going on there, so. Another feature that we have is a traction control system. What that'll be is basically if you're, you're riding down the road and something comes out in front of you and you slam on your rear brake, it's actually gonna pull your front brake a little too, not actually pull it, but it's gonna pump your front brakes for you. Uh, instead of your ass in trying to kick out from you, your bike's basically going to squat down. So you're going to come to a more controlled stop. And then the other one is going to be a vehicle hill control. So what that is, is if you're on a hill or you're in, uh, you know, Eureka Springs down there in the Ozarks or wherever you're at, if you're on a hill, all you got to do is just pull this front brake in as tight as you can. It'll pop up to let you know it's locked. You can let go of that front brake and your bike's not going to go anywhere. So as soon as you engage, you let off the clutch, give a little throttle, that's when it'll kick off and then you can go. So you don't have to worry about, oh man, I'm on this hill, there's somebody behind me. You know, you're wrapping the bike out and then all of a sudden you're doing a smoky burnout on the hill. You don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. It's all taken care of for you. All right, well, overall, Harley has just nailed, in my own personal opinion, everything about this bike. From the 121 to the uh, Skyline OS operating system that they have, to your Rockford Fosgates that are in here, the saddlebags, the weight reduction, just everything about this bike, I absolutely love it. You're gonna love it too. You gotta come down here, take a test ride on this thing, come ask for me, I'll get you on this bike, we'll go for a test ride on it. You won't be disappointed, that I can promise you. I wanna thank all of you guys for watching our videos. If you like 
our videos and you like what we are offering, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you don't like it, still hit it because eventually you're gonna like something that I put out, I promise you. Come down here and see us at Worth Harley-Davidson. Let's rock!